Hello and welcome to uh, another edition of Dan Builds. So this time we have a uh, kit from Mock Pixel, and I know from this package you can't really tell too much about what it is. This is supposed to be Johnny Five from the Short Circuit movies. Um, I actually bought two of these. Uh, the other one is the uh, Ed 209 robot from uh, Robocop, and I'll probably eventually build that on another episode of this, but uh, starting with Johnny Five. Again, kind of nondescript packaging. Notably, uh, we don't have an instruction book with this. Instead, we have this card, uh, which sends us to uh, setbricks.com to get the instructions as a, uh, as a PDF. So I have my laptop next to me here. Um, go. This is my old laptop, as you can probably tell from all the dust on it and stuff. I should probably clean it up at some point. But, uh, um, okay. There we go. I've got the English version, and we have to put in the verification code. Nope. That was supposed to be tab. And then we will, uh, put in a... 0281 22668. Okay, there we go. And uh, once this loads, we should have the uh, the instructions for this. All right, there we go. 77 pages. That's why it took so long to load, I guess. Um, all right, well. Doesn't look terribly uh, complex to start with, at least. So, uh, yeah, we will uh, get started. Um, so, yeah, let's open up the various little packets that are within the, uh, the bag here. There we go. Let me actually put this up a little. We can tilt this down like so. That, that should be good. All right, so... Within the uh, Moth Pixel bag, and I already broke the zipper on the outer bag, incidentally. Uh, I think that was, yeah, that thing I just dropped was the uh, zipper pull. Uh, so we have another bag inside that, and then various other bags within that bag. Okay. Alright, so... Only four or five, five inner bags. Uh, with a lot of very small parts, so uh, this is uh, this is I think gonna be a complex one, but it looked pretty cool from the uh, previews. So uh, yeah, let's see. Is there any clue as to which bag we start with? I'm thinking it probably is not. But from the diagram and the instructions. This is probably his head in this bag because uh, I see this round, uh, I see this round uh, tan part kind of appearing on the instruction sheet. So I'll open that up first. on the uh, on the bags really help at all. And I actually am thinking that the uh, which bags the components are in probably is arbitrary because I don't actually see any uh, real volume of reason to how they're in here, so I'm just going to dump them all out, I think. There we go. Yeah, go on the floor. Huh? 
All right, I don't think I lost any of those. Two more bags to open here. Boy, there are a lot of really small parts in this. <laughs> Maybe it over my head, I don't know. Probably not, it'll just take a while. Okay, so there are a bunch of these girders which I think make up like his arms and stuff. So I'll try to keep those somewhat together here. Um, so we're starting with, uh, it looks like, there's one of these, just uh, incidentally, quality check on the components. They're pretty clearly based on actual Lego pieces, uh, much like the, uh, what was it, well played, the Ninja Turtles set that I did. Um, yeah, they're pretty clearly based on actual Lego components. Um, but they feel fairly decent. We'll see how they fit together in just a moment. I need uh, one more of uh, this piece here. There we go. Okay, so... Do it looks like two of these here. And like uh, this, they actually fit together quite well. They feel pretty much like actual Legos. So yeah, that's good. So that's page one down. <laughs> then we need uh, this one. That goes here. Uh, let's see. We need four post square thing that goes here and then we need one of these uh peg things that goes uh that's gonna go in like this there we go so there's page two <laughs> uh Hi, Tabby. <laughs> Tabby is, uh, if you can hear her on, on uh, camera there, she seems to be deflating air. <laughs> That's just the kind of noise she makes. She, uh, she's so little, she basically squeaks instead of meows. I hear you. So that was there. I think at this point we could probably fast forward because uh, this is going to be a lot of hunting for very small parts. <laughs>
right, so um, looks like we have uh, Johnny Five's head here. Just having a part of him like this and all the pieces strewn about kind of uh, bring back bad memories of uh, when he got smashed up in Short Circuit 2 by uh, Los Locos. Boy, that, was a, that was a hell of a thing when Johnny Five got smashed, wasn't it? Well, anyway, um, yeah, this looks like it's the end of the first step, and we're at the 11th page out of 77, so we're a seventh of the way there. Um, but I, I think this will probably get easier as it goes on, just as more and more of the uh, small pieces get used up. So I think we're doing all right. Anyway, we're moving on to the body, the sort of torso now, it looks like. So uh, we'll get started on that. All right, so we have uh, something that looks like something. Um, here we have uh, Johnny's uh, head and torso all put together, and it looks, uh, well, until it falls apart. <laughs> I was going to say it looks quite good. Um, yeah, we just need to uh, see we're on 34, so we're, I guess, not quite halfway there. But, uh, yeah, it's going... Uh, pretty smoothly. It's definitely a challenge because of so many small pieces that are all basically the same colors, but uh, it gets easier as it goes on. As, as I mentioned earlier, those pieces get used up. We'll say the uh, shoulder posts here do make it uh, a little bit hard for his arms to stay on. But uh, yeah, I guess that's okay.
right, so there, oh, there we almost have it. Five is alive. So this was definitely a bit of a challenging build. Um, partly, I guess, just because there were so many small pieces in the same colors. Um, but uh, also the instructions, while not bad, could probably have been a little bit better also. Um, they're very much like the Lego instructions. I'll show the screen here. Um, but, uh, yeah, some of the angles they use in the instructions were a little bit odd, uh, making it a little bit hard to see a few parts and where exactly they go. Um, but yeah, overall, the final appearance is really good, I think. Um, the pieces fit together good, but some of them are a little bit loose, a little looser than regular Legos. And uh, that can cause a few issues, notably the one I've been having really pretty much since this part was put together, where his uh, his shoulders want to kind of come apart and his, his arms are a little bit hard to pose. And uh, the... Uh, as you can see, it's very easy to just take the uh, arm right off the post like that. I see the uh, square behind between his eyes is a little off center also. Um, yeah, it's definitely on the fragile side as far as the final build. Um, it's uh, more a showpiece than a model you could actually play with after building it. Um, but as a showpiece, I think it works really well. He looks... Uh, really good um very much like he does in the movies uh it's pretty well hidden overall that it is kind of a lego knockoff brick um construction uh really like the flaps on his eyes are about the only place you can see the pegs on the uh the final build otherwise they're kind of covered up with the the sort of vent pieces and things like that um so yeah Looks really good. Definitely a challenging build, um, more so than a lot of the other things I've done lately. Um, but yeah, it looks uh, looks pretty good. The biggest issue, again, is this shoulder. Uh, there really needs to be a longer piece here that uh, could kind of go through deeper into each side of his, uh, each side of his shoulders to uh, make that stay on a little bit better, I think. Um, but yeah, overall, the final appearance I'm pretty happy with. Uh, so uh, yeah, he'll look good on the shelf, to say the least. Um, yeah, uh, this is the biggest issue, I think. Um, so I'll have to, maybe I'll look for a better peg so that, uh, you know, there's no disassemble here. Um, but yeah, overall, good appearance. Uh, looks great, especially the... Um, quality of the components is, is fine. It's not as good as Lego or like the, uh, what brand was it on those turtle things? Snap and Switch, uh, whatever brand made those. Those fit together a lot tighter, I think, uh, than the mock pixel bricks. Um, but yeah, looks good. Um, I can easily see this in the movie alongside a, uh, racially uh, questionable Fisher Stevens performance. Um, I think it was in Short Circuit 2. He actually had the little model Johnny Fives that he was uh, selling at the beginning of the movie. Um, I haven't seen Short Circuit 2 in a long time. Actually, I haven't seen Short Circuit 1 in a long time either. Um, but yeah, uh, again, I said it before, but yeah, the final appearance is good. So there you have it. Uh, the mock pixel Johnny Five. Uh, a little troublesome to get together, but uh, we got there. So... We'll see you again. Uh, hit like and subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, again, we'll build something else soon.